what's up guys it's p9 back at it again and welcome to a new video finally it's been like pretty much three months since i uploaded my last video short explanation to what happened i got bored of unturned 3 because i'm playing this for five years now was very repetitive was waiting for unturned 2 news devlogs i didn't expect it to take that long i mean three months between two devlogs uh, but here we are the Anton 2 private beta got updated and i don't want to talk too much right now all i'm saying is watch the video until the end because i have an announcement to make actually at the end of the video but this is the Anton 2 private beta looks pretty looks pretty plain looks pretty boring so far this will definitely change it's just as a test um it's just so i mean it works right it doesn't have to look fancy for now it works Everyone that was able to play the vehicle beta is able to play this now as well. No one can get keys as of now, but Nelson is trying to get it to work so you can actually access to this through Unseren 3. So there is probably going to be a way to get access to this in the future. I have no idea when, um, but that's all I know. Yeah, the first thing is uh, settings also looks not as good so far. But as I said, the fancy stuff is something... Uh, you don't have to worry about as a game developer in the beginning. It just has to work. You can also limit your frame rate now. This is what uh, a few people suggested actually in the forums and it's possible now. But what everyone cares about is the map. So we have blast lane and a firing range. I will get to blast lane at the end of this video since there's not that much to show yet. But we have the firing range which we can either host the server or we can just join single player or we join an IP which I'm not going to do in this video and this video is only single player but I will definitely upload videos in where I play with someone mess around to see what's possible see what's going on um, but let's connect to the single player for now um, and yeah this is it guys it's not it's not much you know it's just a firing range as the map name says uh, there's a few targets moving around um, the only sniper we have for now is the sniper which kind of looks like a... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a gun expert, so I'm not even going... It looks like a... Is this an AWP or AWM or something? I'm sorry if I just offended someone. <laughs> so yeah, this is obviously the first thing we have. Um, the sniper. We can also open the inventory. Currently, it's on uh, tab. Uh, I can't rotate my character, but we can see it looks better now. It actually looks already... I mean, it will still look different. Um, in my opinion, it should be kind of transparent and the surroundings should kind of blur or something. I like how it's like centered, not like an unturned. It's kind of like, um, no, it's, it's to the right, actually. The character left. Yeah, I haven't played unturned three in like four months now. So um, you can drag and drop the orb onto your character. You can put it in your hands. Uh, you can just put it on nearby. It actually feels really smooth, like, as you can see, it feels super smooth. This is something I I, I just wanted to be an unturned. Um, as you guys know, if you still play unturned, uh, it's very clunky. Oh, I, I didn't even realize. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this is for uh, dual wieldings. You can, for example, put a pistol here and knife here. I'm, I'm assuming. But since uh, the sniper is uh, two-handed, um, this option isn't really necessary right now. Uh, what's this active thing? I don't know. But you can right click the sniper and uh, you can see the ammo type. It's not like ranger ammo, military ammo. It's like the actual ammo now, which I personally don't like. Just my personal opinion. I like the, you know, the names like ranger, civilian and military more. But maybe it's just something new and something I have to get used to. Um, we don't know yet. We can inspect the gun. Um, how can we actually... Oh, that was a way to kind of rotate the gun inspect wait wait inspect section what's going on here it is possible though i saw nelson doing it in the devlog i think i'm just uh i don't know what's going on wait okay i, I put the scope up and that's another thing yeah you can just um if you have this one if there's the scope in your hands you can just put it on the sniper you can put it from this no you can't actually but um you can inspect it and then remove it Just like this. Um, yeah, when picking up stuff, when picking up stuff, you actually can, not on this, you can actually scroll. As you can see, it says equip and pick up. We I use my scroll wheel now, and I can scroll through the different options, which is pretty cool. Let's say you want to pick up a gun. You don't have one equipped, but you don't want to equip it right as you pick it up. For example, a situation, 
Uh, you just killed someone, you know someone's about to rush you. There's a pile of items here, the sniper rifle and the shotgun. Ugh, uh, it's a bad example, but if you want to pick up the sniper and then the shotgun, and but you, you want to have the shotgun equipped, you do this and then pick up the shotgun. That, that was a terrible example, but you know... Hey, guys, you guys know what I mean by that. If I go towards here, to these uh, white uh, blocks, and I press F, I just cheat in some ammo. This is... And some snipers. Uh, this is just uh, to test if you're in a multiplayer. You basically... So you don't have one sniper only. You can have... I, wa I, I wonder if you can damage other people. If we can shoot each other. Maybe do even do a 1v1 already. Like, I don't know. Maybe across the hill or so. Let me pick up the ammo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, okay. I shouldn't have done this. Yikes. Uh, we can see that uh, if I inspect, you can see it shows two bullets, right? Those are two bullets. It shows two bullets. If we stack them onto each other, like, I think five stack is the max. Yeah. Uh, you can also see that, that, that those are five. How can you, like, you control? Now if you shift... Mm. Also, we have two storages, which will basically um, be the new lockers eventually, which I think look really cool. I mean, they look pretty dope. Um, this one is a enemy locker, like a hostile locker, a locker you don't own, you, you a locker you want to raid. Uh, it looks like you can see what's in the locker. I don't know if that's going to be a feature in the future, um, but you need a key to unlock it. And how do you create a key? This is your own locker. You actually create a code, like in Rust, for example. Um, how do you increase the numbers? You actually have to type it in. Um, two, three, ah, uh, okay. That's kind of weird. But basically, let's do 0110 and click on unlock. It doesn't work. Wait, I think Nelson, I, oh, I think that's Nelson's locker. And, uh, oh, I think that's actually Nelson's locker. Let me take a look at the dev lock and see if I can raid nelson already all right guys so i think i cracked the code this is going to be the first base raid in <laughs> unturned 2 history and uh, nelson's code is actually one two three four um very interesting nelson not uh, too secure but hey it works i guess um as you can see i unlocked it i can take the key um so how does this work now oh i can lock it again putting my own keywords i'm guessing Oh, I just, okay, I just lock it by clicking this icon. Now it's locked. Now uh, the, the people, someone that wants to raid it eventually, has to type in a code again. Yeah, if I don't, if I don't lock it, I will forget to lock it. It stays unlocked. Um. Ah, okay. I can use the key on this one. And, um, ooh, what is this? You might wonder. This is a name tag. Yes, you can in Unturned 2, you can rename a guns now. Or whatever. Just rename something. For example, let's say Big Bad Sniper Boy with a description of nice. Apply. Now the sniper is called Big Bad Sniper Boy. I still don't know how to rotate the uh, gun. That was possible. I, I don't understand. All right, enough locker and picking up stuff and inventory. Now you actually want to see some shootings. And I do understand you want to see this. And uh, this is the scope, as you can see. The gunshot is this. Um, I actually, I haven't played Unturned in a few months. So you got to let me know. Is that actually the Timberwolf sound? I believe this is a place, like, this is going to be a place, so that I'm pretty sure. But I think this is the Timberwolf sound, isn't it? I'm not too sure about this, but um, uh, we can increase uh, the distance of these targets just to test the shooting. And as we can see, it's set to 300 now. And uh, on the sniper overlay, whatever you want to call it, you can see those lines with the numbers. I'm not a gun expert. I don't know what they're called. Uh, let's actually decrease it to 250 to make it easier. And they're actually used as a bullet drop. And as I want to hit the, the, the upper target here, I'll point it to where it says 250 meters and hit. You also saw the, the hit marker. Pretty cool in my opinion. It's pretty satisfying actually. 
and it's also dynamic. I mean, like, like it's moving when you hit someone. It's not just a static hit marker. Let me see if I can... Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I had some bolt, okay. Yeah, um, okay, it's not that easy. Oh, there we go. It's not that easy. I mean, there's also bullet drop. Wait, but I don't think. I don't have to. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm a noob at this. I'll get better, trust me. This... Oh, huh, I'm out of ammo. One sec. Gimme, 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 gimme. I have to put the, uh, the, the bullets into my magazine. I can also, I'm guessing, yeah, take out the magazine. And I'm putting in more bullets. How is this possible? I don't think... <laughs> That's probably just as a test. So you don't have to refill it every two sec. Also, which Nelson was very proud of. Um, as you can tell by watching his uh, death look, which is actually pretty cool. It's like a, what do you call them? Like clay pigeon dispenser thrower something. Uh, we can increase the speed here and then we can, how can we start it? There we go. You know, it's just shooting some clay pigeons and we can, I'm always thinking that's like a crazy bullet drop in travel time, but there isn't from this distance. Oh, that's so hard. Oh my God. Okay. That's impossible. Wait, let me. Oh, dude, this is not as easy. I'm, I'm serious. I feel like sniping is going to be way harder in Anton 2. Oh, my, 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 my. Yo, okay. Never mind, guys. Dude, that's not as easy. I Wait, this is going to be... Oh, my God. What am I doing? Ah, okay, never mind. First hit. First try. So, yeah, with that being said, this is everything from the firing range. Oh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot. You can inspect the gun. Of course you can. Pressing T, you can inspect the gun. Um, You can also just detach stuff from here. And when you have nothing attached, like the scope here. Wait, how is it to shoot without scope? Wait, what, what is the gun doing? Hello? Um, oh, okay, can I shoot backwards? Like, this, this, this is pretty crazy. Like, is it... Wait, imagine me hitting a target. Wait, 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 can I actually hit a target? Am I am I facing backwards completely? Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, I forgot about third person. Yeah, well, it's been a while since I played this. Can go. See, this is normal, but if I go. So is it like shooting straight or? It is. Okay, that's some. That's some weird stuff. Let me actually play in third person. You can't crouch or anything yet. Nope. But yeah. Um. Oh, okay. Well, th this is it for now. Wait, did I drop my... S I did drop my scope. Uh, this is it for now for firing range. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Please uh, keep in mind that this is early development. Much stuff will change. This is not going to be the survival map later on. And also, you can access every single map from... from let's say I'm here. This is a multiplayer server. I'm chilling right now. And I want to connect to a different server, play a different mode, maybe go to the single player. I open the settings, the menu. I can just switch from here on. Just like this. Uh, I also want to show you Blast Line. There's not too much to show. It's pretty much like Bomberman, especially the older generation. Well, what am I talking about? Older generation? Well,. Uh, you should probably know Bomberman. I used to play it in class all the time with my friends. I mean, you know, when, when we had nothing to do, obviously. But uh, yeah, this is not possible alone, obviously. So I'm pretty sure like if you were in a uh, in a server with someone, this will work. And you will probably see a video of this in the next few days. This is it with the video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this so far. I'm trying to upload more videos. I don't want to play Unturn 3. So please don't ask me if I will upload a raid again or something. Unturn 2 is my main game now. I will wait for the news. I will wait for the devlogs. Also, I am live on Twitch right now. As you see this video, right when I upload this video, I will be live on Twitch. I will uh, testing out the multiplayer in this game. Maybe some firing, ra uh, yeah, firing range with other people. Um, also, let's see if we can actually 1v1. I'm pretty curious. And also playing Blast Line with other people. So make sure to check out my Twitch first link in the description. Come say hi. Um, and yeah, that's it with the video. And see you guys in the next vlog, hopefully very soon. And bye.